alternatively for these sorts of questions that involve the inverse Poisson rather than faffing around with the inverse Poisson uh, and then having to work backwards um, uh, an alternative is just to set up um, in the your lists uh, at the start of the, the possible at the start of the question uh, the possible values that uh, X could take um, so if you put uh, a load of zeros in list one and then uh, ascending numbers in list two, up to say about 10, um, you may get a lambda value that's bigger than that, in which case you'd need more uh, numbers. Now with those lists set up, if you now go to the distribution Poisson uh, and PCD, but instead of getting it to read variables, if you get it to lead uh, lists, and you get the lower list to be list one, the upper list to be list two, and your lambda value to be uh, eight. Now if we execute that, it gives you a list of probabilities. So you can just scroll down that list of probabilities until you get to the one uh, that matches the one in the question. So uh, for um, part A of the question, we've got um, 0.3133. So uh, that matches up with a value of 6. For part B of the question, um, we wanted a probability of 0 0.0096. So that uh, matches up with our value of 4, uh, and so on. So you can just read off um, the probability values and pick off the corresponding uh, value um, for each of those probabilities. So once it's set up, um, that's a, probably a quicker way of, uh, of getting you uh, your values okay but um, kind of depends on the question which of the two methods is quicker uh, you can use either